Today I'm going to walk you through ABECA, their science and health series. This is for seventh grade. It's science and the top, it's um, order and design. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of show you a little bit in each book and just walk you through it. Okay, so up here on the top, these are all the teachers, and down on the bottom, this is the students. Um, this is the whole set. Um, at least when this was bought, it was the whole set. I don't know if they've added anything new or not. But um, I'll just open up each book and kind of show you a little bit about what it covers. Okay. All right. Okay, so this one was copyrighted 2010. Um, it does not have an edition on it that I see. Okay, so you can pause the video if you want, but this is the table of contents. You can see the main topics it covers are, um, it's an invitation to science and then plants and your wonderful body. Okay. Then you have a healthy life, creation and science, the science of classification, mammals, and you can see what these um, what the smaller subtopics are. And you have birds, fish, reptiles, amphibians, insects, and other arth arthropods through the microscope. And again, you can pause the video if you want to read it. Then the last two chapters are forestry and ecology. Okay, and then it opens right up into chapter one. So again, this is the student text, and it's paperback. Okay. Okay, and you can see 1.1, these are the subtopics. It tells you what chapter one is going to cover, the concepts. Okay. And then at the end of each section, they have just a few review questions. And then something something to think about, and then it starts with the next section. And these check it out. These are like um, I don't want to say experiments, but they're just activities to do. And then again, after each each section is some review questions. It's another section. And these little brain bites, those are kind of neat. Um, it's just little tidbits of information. You know, just little blurbs of fun facts, kind of. And the pictures are pretty nice in here. And for the most part, you know, it has a, a good amount of, of pictures. Another brain bite. Another little experiment. Another experiment, more questions, and then at the end of each chapter is a chapter review, okay? Okay, so that's that, and then it moves into the next chapter, and it just follows that same format, okay? So I'm just flipping through a few pages at a time, just so you can kind of see, you know, what it looks like. So there you go. That is what the student's book looks like. It's all laid out the same. You have reading material, just really short sections of reading, and then you have review questions, um, experiments or activities, uh, closer looks, which are just, um, you know, going into a little bit more detail about the topic that you're reading about. And then at the end of each chapter, the review questions. Okay, and then at the end there's an index, and that's it. So that is the student textbook. Now the teacher's version of the student textbook is the exact same. It's still paperback, but it's spiral bound. But you can see it is the exact same in here, word for word. Nothing is different. So ideally, you know, if you want to save money, 
you wouldn't even have to buy the student book. Um, you know, maybe just read with, with your child through this. Um, everything's the same. Look, even, even the questions. See, there's no answers. There's no answers for the chapter review. The only difference is the end of the book. That's where the answers are. Okay, so here's the index. And this last section, this much, is what is these, the teacher's part. So it tells you the scope and sequence, you know, um, special features of the book, the projects, news articles, how to average grades. And then it gets into the questions. I mean, the answers for the questions. Okay, so these are your little daily lessons here, what to do. And then these are the answers to the questions. So remember each section had just a few questions um, for their section review. So these are the answers. And then it just does that. And then at the end of each chapter, there was a chapter review. So these are the answers for that. Okay. And that's all it is. Um, and it does that for every chapter. You can see chapter 7 there, chapter 12, and so on. Okay. So then if you want to buy or, you know, get the um, student test. Okay, so let's see here. Let me open. Okay, so here is test four. For um, This is the test over chapter five. So this is the student's test, okay? You can tear these out and just make copies of them um, that the student... Now the tests are kind of long, I guess, maybe three or four pages. So here's page one of test four, page two of test four, page three of test four, and page five of test four. There's usually always an essay, and then it moves into the next test, okay? So, and then there's test six. All right, so you, can, you get the idea. Um, sometimes there's little diagrams that they have to do, label, I mean. Anyway, so that's that. And the test key for the teacher is the exact same as that. The only difference is it actually has the answers labeled, listed, and it even, you know, gives some essay examples. So, okay. Then the next thing to show you is the student quizzes. It's also paperback, and the quizzes are pretty short. Okay, so you can see here's quiz 14. This covers a few pages of chapter 5. And that's that. And then quiz 15 covers a few more pages of chapter 5. Okay, quiz 16 covers some pages of chapter 6. All right, you can see how short it is. The, then you have the teacher's uh, quiz key, and it's the same as the student. The only difference is it has the answers in it. Okay? All right. Before I move on, okay, before I move on to the activity book, um, I do want to say, you know, that if you're wanting to save money um, or needing to save money and you don't want to buy the entire set like this, um, I'll tell you what we did. <clears throat> okay, so I already told you, you know, that you could not buy the student text and just go through the student text um, in the teacher's book with your student, okay? That's one way to where you wouldn't have to buy this book, all right? The other way, in addition to that even, um, instead of doing the tests and the quizzes, this is what we did. So we would use the section review as a little quiz, okay? There you go, that's your quiz. And then we would use the chapter review as the test. Let me find it here. Okay. And then chapter two review is there and there. The review is pretty long, but we would use the little section reviews for the quizzes and then the chapter reviews as the test. So see, all you would really have to buy would be this book right here, 
and you could do away with all of those. You know, just buy this book and, you know, keep on top of it and you could do it so much cheaper and still, you know, be able to grade them and test them and everything. Okay. Now, um, okay. The activity book, in my opinion, you don't even need. Um, there are like all of these closer looks they had in here, right there. And then those, um, check it outs that they had. All those check it outs are like activities and experiment type things. Okay. So, I mean, unless your kid just likes paperwork, you wouldn't even have to buy the activity book. But I'll go ahead and show you what it looks like. It's just worksheets. Okay, so like here's a crossword puzzle. There's another one. Here's fill in the blank. Looks a lot like the quiz. Another fill in the blank. Another crossword puzzle. You know, some diagramming, labeling. Okay, so you can see they, they're not fun. I mean, they are just, they're not fun. Okay, and then the teacher's answer key to the activity book is the same. It's just, you know, has the answers. Okay, All right, so there you go. That is just a quick walkthrough of Abeka 7th grade science. All right, well, thank you for watching.